Hey y'all, Shafi Nicole here. And in today's video, we'll be going over some of the basics of good notes. So if you are ready to learn more about good notes, then keep on watching. All right guys, welcome back. So we're gonna go ahead and open up our planner. I'm gonna use this one. So, so the first thing I do want to show you is um, how to get it to the preference of how you want it to move. So we're going to go over here to these three dots and we're going to tap on them. And you can change the, di the scrolling direction of your, your planner. So you can do a horizontal scroll, which I love a horizontal scroll because it's like I'm working in a real planner. Or you can do a vertical scroll which is not as controlled so again you just go over to the three dots and then you come down here to where it says scrolling direction and you change it there okay the next tool that i'm going to show you is the toggle tool and it's this one right here so and it looks like a little pen or a pencil that has a line wrapping around it so when it's in this mode here you're able to move through your planner okay so you have two modes that this goes in it goes into this mode which is your mouse mode and then you go into this mode which is your annotation mode when it goes into the mouse mode which is the pin with the line wrapping around it you're able to tap the hyperlinks and move through your planner and when it's in the uh, let's go to April and we'll just stay there <laughs> when it's in the toolbar mode you'll see that this toolbar here comes down and these are your tools that you're going to use for annotating so let's get into that now the first tool that I am going to show you is your pen tool which is this tool right here so you have three different pen options so with the pen options you have fountain ball and brush and then it shows you the consistency of each so once you also get that pen tool you'll see these over here so you have these options over here so these are your color options and I'm going to show you now how to get your colors um, because it does not come with these pen colors I place those in there so I'm going to show you how to get a custom color and set it as your preset if you want to keep that color so we're going to head over here right where it says custom and tap on that so you have three different options of how you can do this. You can use the color grid that they give you. You can put in a hex code, which the hex codes for all of the planners are on the This Planner Belongs To page. So you can put in your hex codes there, or you can use the color wheel. So once you get your color that you want, and let's say you wanna use that color, you would just tap Add to Presets, and you will see it right there. And let's say you wanted to delete a color, you're going to come up here to edit and then you're going to tap on the color and then just remove color. And these right here, um, these lines that you see are your thickness lines. This goes from your thinnest line to your thickest line. And you're able to customize these as you see fit. So I have mine set to 0.3. 0.5 and 0.125. So now I'm going to use the pen tool and another tool to show you how you would start to um, write in your planner and you know do it at a level of comfort for you. So you have options here. You can either zoom in. So the way to zoom in is you take your two fingers. You can take these two, these two. I've never tried these two, but I've tried these two right here. And you just make a outward motion to zoom in. And when you want to bring it back in, just make a inward motion. So I'm going to use, and then when you want to like move it around, just move with your finger like this. Or you can go like this. Okay, so we're going to write right here. I zoomed in and now I'm going to just write something. Um... So wash clothes. You can write this way or you have this option of using the zoom tool here to help you out. So I'm going to bring this down right here. And you just move this little blue rectangle to where you want to write like so. And then you're going to see it come up in here. And then you can write here as well.
like that. So those are your two different ways that you can write. Now let's move on to the eraser tool. And with your eraser tool, you have three options. Um, and then you can also like clear a whole, your whole entire page by tapping clear page. So you get a precision eraser and it tells you down here what they all mean. So the precision is for small details. You have your standard eraser. Um, this is efficient erasing without leaving any marks. And then this is your stroke eraser. So it'll erase an entire stroke by just touching it once. So like that. And this right here, I'm gonna undo all of what I just did. And these are your undo buttons. And this is your redo button. Whoops. So they give you three different options for the eraser tool. You have your your smallest to your largest. The next thing that we're gonna talk about is the highlighter tool. They also give you those three color options and you also get to change your thickness of your highlights. And the same rules would apply to the pins um, and how to do the highlight colors. Okay, so let's make a highlight. So you don't even have to hold it down. Let's say that you don't want to have the draw straight line on but you do want to highlight just take it and so it's as you can see it did not draw in a straight line for me but if i wanted to draw in a straight line all i have to do is draw it and hold it down and it'll create that straight line for me and with the highlight tool you can also create some um, shapes as well um, and i'll go back and i'll show you that but you do have a shapes tool here um and normally you use that with the pin option it's not going to use with the highlight option it's only going to do it with the pin and you draw basically a shape and it snaps the shape for you like that and my fill color is on but if i turn the fill color off then it'll make the shape without the fill color now, could you do this with the pen option by itself? You absolutely could, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm gonna draw a circle with the pen tool by itself. I'm just gonna draw it and then hold it down, and this gives me the option of making it as big as I want. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I can move my finger. There we go. You can make it as big as you want, as small as you want, so this is more controlled than the shapes tool. I normally don't use the shapes tool because I want to be in control of everything. <laughs> so um, I just use the pen tool and you can also do this with the highlight tool. You can draw shapes um, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's say we wanted to make a color box like, like this. So I just draw it and I hold it and it snaps into place. Then I can use that shapes tool to tap on this and then i can move it in i can make it longer smaller i can use it for that that's the only time i use the shapes tool or if i wanted to you know go back and resize this circle i could do that that's the only time again that i do use the shapes tool when i'm doing stuff like that so again my um, advice would be to draw with your pen tool or your highlight tool then use your shapes tool to adjust if you finish and then you want to go back and adjust it. The next tool I'm going to show you is the lasso tool. It's one of my favorite tools to use when I'm digital planning and it, it's, it really comes in handy. So with the lasso tool, you're moving things around and you, are, you can also change colors. So, so I can just, it looks like a little rope. So you take it and you lasso around whatever you want to move. And then you just move it. Also with this tool, I can change the color of my text boxes or my highlight boxes if I choose to. I can also change the color of my text if I wanted to do that as well. Also, you have, you can cut and then you can paste it somewhere else. You can resize it. You can make your writing smaller. You can make it bigger. You can also copy this again and paste it again. Your next tool is your elements tool. And this is my other favorite tool to use digital planning 
because with the elements tool you're able to keep any pre-made weeklies you want in here any stickers you want to keep in here any stickers that you made and let's say you want to drop over one of your weekly layouts that you do you just tap on it and you have your collections down here and you can actually make a collection if you wanted to just tap that add button and it'll say new collection and then you can just make one right so let's say that i wanted to use a weekly that i made weekly layout that i made and i want to use it again all i have to do is just tap on the one that i want and it's going to drop in like that now i will create a video of where i show you how to make these type of um, pages and use these as well how I do them I will make a video of that the next one I'm going to show you is your camera roll you can use your camera roll to add things in that you want you have your camera roll right here so you can just add in images and the next tool is your text box so you have options of how you want to do this so you tap on it and then you tap on your template And if you have your scribble option on, you're able to just, you know, write normally and then it'll turn it into text for you. Or um, you have your keyboard here. Now, again, with this, you're able to move it around like so. Could you make it bigger? You could. You have this option here. Now, this is the only thing I don't like about the text box is that you can't make pre presets like you can make your own color but you cannot save it to presets so a workaround for that um, let me just show you how to make this bigger first so let's say you do this you could you could um, make it bigger this way but I normally don't do that I'll just leave it at you know whatever I have it set to and then I just um, I just use my lasso tool I lasso around it and I just make it bigger like this and then again that workaround for that color lasso around it and then you can change the color like that that is the easiest way to use the text box okay and then with the text box you're you're also able to change like the line spacing your left center and your right let's say that you wanted to let's just say use that font you wanted to keep this and everything all you have to do is just tap on the text box and then just say save as default and this will be your default font until you change it and then you can also add a background color a border color to the text you can add a shadow you can do like a rounded corner and then you have some pre box styles here text style and you can save as default right there one more thing that I do need to show you that you may want to do is copy a page so let's say that you wanted to duplicate a page you can use your waffle tool here to duplicate pages um you can copy right here you have options so let's say though but it, it's a way that you need to do this okay so let's say that you wanted to use this template with these two inserts on this template again so you would come over to your waffle you would not come over here because if you say current template it's just going to copy the blank template but without the inserts on it so you would just come over here to the waffle and the waffle will normally open up on the page that you're on so and you'll see this highlight around it you're going to tap on this drop down and then you're just going to duplicate and you you see the page duplicated right there and let's say that you wanted to um, use a page out of the extra pages you just head over to extra pages let's say we wanted to use this um, graph page right here we're gonna tap on the three dots and we're gonna we're gonna tap copy page okay then we're gonna come over to the page or the um, section that we want to copy it in just gonna go back over there so then we're going to go here to add and we're going to tap paste and you can do before after our last page but we're going to say after this one and we're going to paste it and there it is.
Okay, so those are all the basics of good notes. So if you do have questions, any other questions, please feel free to ask me. I do not mind responding back to you and helping you out. I love to help people out. But that is it. Thank you for tuning into this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you do subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification so you're notified when I upload more videos. Videos will be uploaded every Tuesday. And I thank you guys so much for tuning in and you guys have a fabulous rest of your day.